Hey everybody, Zach here, and this is the first why I bought this. Why I bought this is just gonna be a series of videos talking about all this gear that I have amassed uh, over the years and why I got it, why I love it, and just talk about it. So the first one seems fitting that we talk about this, my Les Paul. So what is this? This is a 2014 Gibson R9. I got this guitar at Carter Vintage Guitars when I was working there. Um, my wife and I, my now wife, uh, we had gotten engaged and she wanted a ring. And part of the deal was I said, hey, uh, if I get you this ring, I want to trade in some guitars and get my dream guitar because you're getting the ring you've always wanted. So we came to an agreement and this entered my life. Now, when I got it, it was just brand new. I went to Carter on one of my days off. I took in a bunch of gear and as much cash as I could muster. And I played every custom shop Les Paul in the store. Um, R8s, R9s, I think there were even a few ROs in there. And if you don't know what that designation means, um, it just means reissue 58, reissue 59, reissue 1960. They've kind of done away with that now. But this guitar um, had come in and was just really special. And I knew it was special, but I was a little hesitant to get it because it was more expensive than a 58 because it has a flamier top and stuff. But I fell in love with the neck and the character of the guitar. So worked out a deal and I got it. And I got it because of the neck and just the overall tone of the guitar. If I turn the volume down, it just rings. like crazy and that was the thing that struck me about this guitar and through all the years through all the mods through all the changes I've done that character has remained true and the thing that I love about this guitar the most is just the personality and then concerning the neck it has a pretty slim neck shape this is a 59 most people when they pick it up think it's a 60 because the neck is pretty slim but in my experience having worked at a high-end vintage shop and had a, having gotten my hands on many real vintage bursts, this feels right. It's pretty slim, there's not a whole lot of shoulder, um, very fast, very comfortable, and I just adore playing this guitar. It definitely is uh, my number one so far as the guitar I connect the most with. Um, so. What have I done to it? What changes have I made? Well, this guitar is probably the most modified guitar uh, I've ever had and will ever have. The only things on this guitar that are stock are the plastic on the back, the finish on the back, the tuners, uh, the jack plate, and the jack itself and then the literal toggle switch, strap buttons, pick guard bracket, I mean the frets and the nut, all that. But everything else <laughs> has been changed. Um, truss rod cover has changed. The pickups, the pickup rings, the pick guard, the knobs, the pots, uh, the thumb cutters are not changed. The bridge, um, the tailpiece, the switch tip, the poker chip, and the finish on the top. Now, this is what makes this guitar so special. I love vintage Les Pauls, and when I got this guitar, it was in a washed cherry, which is a pretty bright red cherry sunburst finish, and I, I was never crazy about it, but in 2014, that was one of the most standard finishes you could get, that or like a bourbon burst, which for me was a little too dark. But having worked at the store, I became friends with the one and only Mr. Tom Murphy. Now, Tom and I had struck up a friendship, and I had mentioned how much I loved the finish on Pearly Gates. And Tom said, well, you have a custom shop guitar. 
let's just refinish the top and make it look like pearly gates. And I said, what? <laughs> and after much deliberation, I decided to do it. I drove down to Tom's then shop. Now he's at Gibson, but back then he was still doing stuff um, at, at his own shop. And uh, I stripped all the parts off of it. We stripped the paint off the top. I taped it all up. And then he went at um, refinishing it, staining it the yellow. And he based the color of this guitar off a photo of Pearly Gates that existed um, before Pearly had faded. And it was still, it was a color photo. And it was just this deep cherry sunburst with a brown tint to it. And, and the real Pearly Gates has a very dark kind of brown kind of color up there. And it's just a beautiful guitar. And I wanted to match some of that character. And Tom nailed it. I, I took it there. I watched him finish it. He said, I'm going to do a few more things. I waited a few months. And then lo and behold, I went and picked it up. And this is what it looked like. And immediately I was struck by it. It is such a cool finish and just everything I, I want out of a Les Paul so far as something that's flamey like this. Um, some of the other changes, these are RS Guitar Works uh, slash Lindy Fraylin True 60 pickups. And I've got throwback covers on it. These are RS Guitar Works pots with Lux caps. And the thing that I love most about this guitar so far as the sound of it is the dynamic. Uh, range that it has. So I'll give you a taste of that in a second. But the last thing, the last thing I want to touch on in, in all these videos is, is this gear a lifer? Is this a lifer guitar? And for this one, yeah, I'll never be able to get this experience again. I'll never be able to get this specific guitar again. And I am pretty struck by that. I want to have this guitar forever. I want my son to have this guitar. I want his son to have this guitar. I want it to have so many frets on it, uh, fret jobs done to it because it's just been played over and over and over and adored and loved. And I can't wait for the day when the finish starts to chip away and wear because we've just put that many miles on it. But let's get through some sound samples. I'll run through a couple things. I'm running into the Neural Tone King uh, plugin. And we'll just go through a couple a couple tones here. Here's the neck pickup. has a really thick throaty sound. I'm running with, with quite a bit of gain on the plug-in, but you can hear how well it cleans up and all that dynamic control that it has. And it's just a killer neck pickup sound. So we'll go to the bridge, then we'll go to the middle. So here's the bridge sound, which these pickups are about seven and a half K and eight and a half K. So they're not super hot, but it's a really good balance. Here's the bridge. <laughs> Again, that sound is what I want from Les Paul. It has a lot of clarity, a lot of bite, a lot of snap, because these things should be tellies on steroids. And the right amount of aggression. It's just a really great sound. Now let's go to the in-between position, play through some of that, and uh, see what we think. <laughs> It 
just does all the stuff you want a Les Paul to do. So this is my R9, my 2014 that's been modded within an inch of its life. And that is why I bought this. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Catch you later.